I'm not that much of an awards guy. But I got about, even I'm impressed for BMI Awards. It, it's really a testament to uh, how much entertainment, viewing entertainment, we all wanted this last year. I mean, people just stayed and, and watched. One of these is for Honest Thief, which was one of the few movies that, was, that started the progression back to the theaters. Uh, Judas and the Black Messiah obviously got a lot of people back into the theater. Um, Togo for, from Disney Plus, that was streaming. So, so that's a huge deal, streaming movies, actually doing great box office. And uh, Little Fires Everywhere, well, we know that was a hit. Yeah, that was, that's cool. But uh, yeah, Glistening, Glistening BMI Awards, pretty cool. And I'd very much like to thank BMI for this film award for Judas and the Black Messiah. This is a very significant award for me personally because this is a tremendously valuable film a story that had to be told. It is by one of the finest young directors I've had the opportunity to see uh, who's got a tremendous career ahead of him, Mr. Shaka King. I had the great opportunity to collaborate on this with a New York jazz musician, Craig Harris, and he has a long distinguished career in this world. And I've uh, done my fair amount of work there as well. So. We were so looking forward to the improvisation that we could bring to the writing process, to put people in a room to experience what jazz brings as a unique art form into film scoring. And then COVID comes. And of course, the one thing we can't do now is put people in a room, interact with each other, record the beautiful mistakes and, and, and chance things that happen. So the score took on a life of its own, two men working 3,000 miles apart in a room alone with screens. But looking back at this score, I'm not sure we, it could be any better than it is. It turned out so well, the film is so powerful. So I must thank everyone, Shaka, Craig, and BMI for this acknowledgement. This was a, just a magnificent project to be involved in. What a great, great team, fantastic women to be working with. Uh, Mary Ramos, Don Soler, but uh, my composing partner on this was Isabella Summers, who is the machine. And it was just a treat to work with someone of such immense talent and to work with someone from a completely another musical universe than mine. And we hit it off tremendously well, and our two worlds came together, and I think we came up with some pretty unique stuff. You know, she, <laughs> she loves drums. She is, you know, the, the queen of rock production. And she just loves drums. And she kept saying, we're going to have to use real drums, real drums, real drums. And let's face it, television, we don't use real drums a lot. But we ended up using real drums. And it was just fantastic. To, because especially when we had to do a cover of In the Air Tonight, which has the most amazing drum fill of all time, iconic, everybody knows it. And we had to re reproduce it and replicate it. And the fabulous Vinnie Caliuta did just a great job. I've had a long relationship with the Disney company. I think my very first film a number of years ago was for Disney, and I've done a lot of work since with this wonderful company. This was a really fun movie to do. Erickson Kaur is a long-term uh, director I've worked with and uh, always fun working with. He's meticulous and artful and just a beautiful eye and, uh, and loves music. But the thing was, we both had uh, dogs like the dog in Togo. I, we had a husky puppy here, and he has raised dogs and wolves, actually. And so we had a lot of fun just looking at the traits and learning and falling in love with these dogs. And I think it really brought a lot to just the, the love of this story and the love of this movie and uh, made the whole thing just very personal and very fun for me. So thank you, BMI. Thank you, Erickson. Thank you, Disney. This war really goes to everybody. This was one of the first movies to get back into the theaters, got all of us back into the theaters. It uh, managed to hold on to number one position for a couple of weeks, and uh, it's really a testament to the, the spirit of the film industry and the spirit of the film audience and the theater going public that uh, we're not gonna be, uh, <laughs> not gonna be kept out of the theaters and kept out of uh, watching the movies we want to enjoy. So really it's, uh, a wonderful film by my good friend Mark Williams, uh, and uh, thank you very, very much for this award. So what is BMI? BMI is Broadcast Music Incorporated, a organization that composers, songwriters, lyricists are absolutely love because they get our royalties for us. 
every time uh, a piece of music or a song is performed in various different places all over the world, we actually do get a royalty uh, because it's our intellectual property and it's being used for other purposes and therefore we share in that. And uh, we love BMI and they do an excellent job. And at the end of every uh, year, they give awards for the most successful and prestigious projects that, that they overlook. And while this is a testament to how much people wanted entertainment in the last year, I've got four of them this time, could not be more proud of all of these projects and to be a part of it and to uh, be on my record.